hey guys, my name is Sammy and I'm a classical Pilates teacher and today is going to be a tutorial on the short spinal massage. It goes in two different places depending on which order you're doing. If you're doing the intermediate order, it comes right after the 100 and if you're doing the advanced order, it comes right after the tendon stretch. So I'm gonna show you how to get into it from both of those places and how to get out of it from both of those places. Okay, so if it's coming after the 100, you're lying onto your back. You just did your 100 up here, down there, wherever you do it. And then since we're going into the more intermediate way, go ahead and lift the arms and bend the knees. You'll take both handles into one hand and you'll rock up. And ideally, you're going to keep your feet off of the mat and take off two springs. And then you're going to spin around and lay all the way down onto your back. With your free hand, you'll lower your headrest. Just make sure none of your hair is in there. Now, you're going to put your feet in the short loops. So if you have non-classical equipment and it has the long loop and the short loop, it's a little easier. You just stick your feet in the short ones. Otherwise, you put the leather strap through the handle. And you hold the loops towards the back so that you have room for your feet to go into them. Now, you'll bend your knees into your chest and you're gonna try to bring your feet into the loops and put them on the arches of your feet. Often what people want to do is pull with the arms and it's just not the safest way to get in. So your, your ideal way is to lift, use those abdominals and place the feet in. So coordination and the hundred really does kind of help get you prepared for this. Then your hands go by your sides and you're going to bend your knees and you're going to start heels together, toes apart. You're going to inhale to press it out and you're going to try to lift your hips up before your legs reach the ceiling and go overhead. You're holding your breath here. You're bending the knees, locking the shape, exhale, and then inhale as you start to roll down exhale to finish that roll. I'm going to do that again with better breath cues. Inhale to go out, lift the hips. You're holding your breath here all the way over. Bend the knees, exhale. Inhale to roll the spine down, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen all the way down. Exhale, pause at the bottom. Okay, so there's another version of that where this one's for strength, so you're really holding the muscles tight in order to keep the shape, and then there's a stretch version. So you'll inhale to go out. You'll lift those hips, holding your breath, same as before. Exhale, bend the knees. Now you're gonna leave the toes where they are, and you're gonna roll the spine down as far as you can to stretch the backs of the legs, and then use the backs of your legs to pull the heels towards your seat and continue rolling down. I'm going to show that again. Inhale, hold the breath, lift up to go over, ideally. Bend the knees, exhale. Inhale, roll the pelvis away from the heels. And exhale, pull the heels down. Okay, so how you would come out of this is you take your handles in your hands and a two finger pinch on your leather strap. I don't know if you can see that. I just kind of like grab with two or three fingers and I take my feet out, knees into the chest, and then I slowly let the leather strap fall through the handles so that I am ready for coordination. Okay, so now if you're doing this after tendon stretch, I'll show you what you do. So tendon stretch is after the long back stretch in the long stretch series, and the sticky goes like this. And you just did this exercise here. 
and then you will close the carriage and then you step off. Okay, so the sticky pad goes away and a lot of people prefer to get their handles ready here. Sorry, my hair got all messed up, I'm sure. So you can either put them through this way or you can let those hang. It's whatever works for you or whatever you're required to do for whatever certification you are testing out on if you're training to be a Pilates instructor. Okay, so the foot bar goes down, you stay on two springs, and you're gonna lie all the way down. And if your headrest was still up from your long stretch series, you will put that down. Now, you'll grab those handles and you'll slip your feet into them straight legs up and over as we're advancing more advanced version especially if it's coming later in the series it means you're doing the advanced order so you should be able to do that hands go by your sides bend your knees heels together toes apart now inhale keep inhaling lift the hips go overhead so we're going to go into one breath here you bend the knees you hold, holding your breath and then exhale, you're going down a little bit of a deeper cue. Imagine you're going over the spine corrector so that you're not completely compressing. And lay your pelvis down. Inhale, inhale. Bend, exhale. Lay your pelvis down. All right, so some other variations of the short spine would be you can press it out. You can go up and overhead, same breath as before. And this is the inchworm where you'll roll the pelvis down an inch, pull the heels to the seat, roll the pelvis away, pull the heels to the seat, roll the pelvis away, pull the heels to the seat, roll the pelvis all the way down, finish pulling the heels to the seat. So that just takes a bit more control. It's kind of fun. You can play with that. And then you can press it out. You can lift up and overhead, bend your knees, wrapping your arms around the backs of your legs. You can grab your arms, and then you're gonna roll the spine away, roll the um, pelvis tailbone away from the heels, and you're gonna press down to give yourself a deeper stretch with your arms, and then you'll pull to finish that out. Now, some of the ways I really, really like to teach this, especially, for people that have some hypermobility or knock knees or whatnot, starting in a prayer position, you press out and you're gonna rotate everything together parallel. From here, you're gonna lift, go up, control over. You're still parallel here. You're gonna bend those knees, come into a prayer position, lift your chin up a little bit, lift your chest up, and then take your spine down, locking everything together. I learned this from Dana Santi, and I really, really love it because I feel stretches and connections where I don't otherwise. So inhale, turn parallel, keep inhaling. Bend, exhale, chin up, chest up, and then take it down really push the feet together all the way down all right so i'll show you how to dump the straps into the well the next exercise in the advanced order would be semicircles okay so you're gonna go up and over dumping those straps into the well behind you you'll roll all the way down you'll bring your feet onto the foot bar heels together, toes apart. You're gonna slide yourself on out very awkwardly, but as best you can. And then you're gonna dig your fingers into the shoulder blocks, under the shoulder blocks, and push in just like this, closing that carriage, drawing the stomach in. You're ready for your semicircles. Pull, pull, pull yourself back on ah, and come up. All right, you guys, that was short spine massage. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll see you next time for something that has to do with Pilates. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.